Did you know there are FDA approved medications for binge eating disorder? Today, I'm talking to you all about Vyvanse. Are you confused about your weight? Do you have questions about weight medication? And do you want medically based answers to your weight questions? If so, you are in the right place. I'm Dr. Megan. I'm a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this is important because I actually prescribe these medications. I actually talk to patients about their weight all the time. I've helped hundreds of patients lose weight, and I'm here to help you too. So Vyvanse, also known as is a central nervous system stimulant medication. And you may have heard about it with regards to ADHD because it's FDA approved for that, but did you know it is also FDA approved for the treatment of binge eating disorder? Binge eating disorder is one of the most common eating disorders and affects so many people. So lisdexamphetamine turns into dextroamphetamine and this causes the release. I'm gonna go through this like kind of quick um, <laughs> cause it's a little like sciencey and you might find it boring. So um, causes the release of what we call catecholamines which are these specific types of chemicals in the brain. One of them is norepinephrine which is responsible for fight or flight. And so medications that work um, on the norepinephrine pathway tend to, we think, suppress um, appetite kind of via that like fight or flight mechanism. Like when you're really um, in fight or flight, your appetite's kind of the last thing you're gonna think about. And so we think that there might be something in that pathway that is being activated um, with this medication to suppress the appetite. And also it seems to work on the dopamine circuitry in the brain. Dopamine is responsible for the reward pathways in the brain. So, so really helping to decrease cravings along that pathway as well. What I can say clinically is it really just tends to like flip the switch in terms of people having this very strong urge for binging. Um, so it can be very effective, but it's also kind of like a, a big gun to use. Um, you really want to, binge eating is very complex and it is definitely not the first place that you wanna start. Um, you really want to um, work through a lot of the cognitive behavioral changes with patients first because you do not need this medication to stop binge eating. You don't need it. Um, it's a great tool, but it's a pretty heavy, heavy tool to use. And it's always great if you don't need it. So that's just the caveat here is if you do have issues with binge eating, talk to your physician about all the non-medical components that would be helpful to look into. In terms of weight loss, um, this is one medication that we're really not looking at to get a get someone's BMI down we're really looking at it looking at it to solve the issue of binge eating or to help with decreasing the likelihood that somebody's going to binge and then if they're not binging as much their weight's going to come down naturally so it's kind of a roundabout way of helping with their weight but really what we're addressing is the binge eating is it available as a generic Yes. Who are the patients that should not take this medication? Okay, anybody with a history of substance use disorder, um, it's not gonna be a great fit. This is a controlled substance. Like I said, it's kind of a heavy, it's kind of a big gun to use, and you're using this lifelong. So you, you really have to be thoughtful about um, who is a good candidate and who is not. This is just not a medication, no, no medication is something that you should be, you know, have a low threshold to dispense, but this is definitely one you wanna be very careful with. And it is a controlled substance, so there are limits on who can use it, how often you can refill it, you know, the government is watching. Also, it's not gonna be a great fit for anybody who, you know, in general is not a good fit for stimulant medications. And that includes patients with bipolar disorder, heart issues, uncontrolled high blood pressure, anybody who has a history or active seizures, somebody with Tourette's or tic disorders, it's just not gonna be a good fit for them. Anybody with a history of glaucoma, if people have vision issues, you wanna definitely check in with your eye doctor. 
and anybody with um, significant peripheral vascular disease. It's not gonna be a good fit for them. So by that I mean anybody with issues with blood supply, and usually when we're talking about peripheral vascular disease, it's blood supply in the lower legs. So Vyvanse is a great medication for binge eating disorder, but it's not for everybody. So you really wanna to talk to your physician about it. Um, you wanna to talk to a physician who's used to using it for binge eating disorder. Um, like I said, it's a serious medication. It has serious side effects. I'll talk about those in another uh, video. Um, it's a controlled substance. So it's a great medication, but it's definitely not a good fit for everybody. And you don't need it to treat binge eating disorder. You can fix binge eating disorder without this medication but for some people it's a very helpful tool. So thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below. If you wanna work with me directly, you definitely can. I'll leave that information down below and please be well.